Thank you, Janet. That was beautiful. And I'd like to introduce Jas Thiel as our next reader. Please welcome Jas. <laughs> measure of sadness. How deep in your heart can it dive? Into places where once only laughter was heard, is it lost forevermore? Can it thrive in a body that only breathes that is not living? Is sadness forgiving? Does it forgive the lips that long to smile? Does it know it is an unwanted guest in a soul that yearns to fly? A soul that burns with light does sadness cry at love songs, remembered on still dark lonely nights? Does it fight, fight the waves of desolation, the seas of loneliness? What is the measure of sadness? How deep in your heart does it live? Sorry, I've written one for my daughter. I don't want to, I wasn't going to, uh, to uh, do one here today. Thank you. My daughter was uh, hit by a car on Monday, so um, she's okay, but um, she's been in a lot of, uh, a lot of pain mentally, and um, I'm grateful she survived. And, um, but her mental pain is so great that physical pain really means nothing to her. And um, she's still around. She's still around. This is called, um, I can't find that one, but this is called Unspoken. Unspoken. Feelings that lie so deep in a soul they sleep, a slumber lasting days and years. All oh, my love, dry your tears. Do not wait for them to suddenly appear for the shall remain unspoken. Unspoken, desire that burns like a raging fire in which hearts red are burned. Thoughts are scorched with the flames of undying love, for you will always be the only one. Unspoken. Unspoken, words of adoration, a dance of love and admiration. Like sweetness on my tongue, you are the one, the thief who has stolen parts of me. I kept hidden. You are the forbidden. My love shall remain unspoken. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find my 